hi welcome back to my channel in this video as you can see I have a just cross stitch magazine in front of you this or in front of me this is the August 2022 um, issue this makes my fourth magazine I think I have one more and then it's time for me to renew my subscription so I'll probably be doing that in about a week or so because I don't want to miss any issues and this is called the Christmas ornament preview okay seize of the day you see a sailboat and busy stitching bees blooms and more so let's see what um, oh one other thing just crossstitch.com is a website and they're also on Facebook and Instagram and then it says stitch star spangled designs and this includes 26 projects I'm going to close this notification so I can make sure you can see everything bear with me part of my okay there we go so this shows that we're going to have 26 projects that's in this issue now as I've done before we will cover over um, any patterns but when it comes to I'm just getting a piece of plain paper in case I should need it we're going to cover over the patterns but I will gladly show you the illustrations so we have an advertisement there and then here's the table of contents and here's a little uh, sampler heaven's little clo wait heaven's a little closer when we are near the water that's cute and then the sailboat that's on front and then this is we'll find out it's on page 16 so that's Athenian sunflowers that's what that is and one stitchy head oh my goodness I am in love with this already see I love flowers if it's got flowers I like it so this says pay homage to formal Tudor gardens with this delicate black work style design highlighted with bright sunflowers as we celebrate warm summer days with this being mostly black work I I want to do this one and I am going to be kidding up as a matter of fact I plan on kidding both of these up from two previous issues this one I have everything, all the floss, the fabric and everything. This one I only need a few pieces of floss and then I need the fabric. So since I'm going to be kidding those up and ordering whatever I need, I, I think I'm going to see what I need for this too. So that's the pattern and you know we don't show you that. And now we have here being busy and it says happiness is being busy and you have a beehive with four bumblebees and some flowers very very pretty this is intermediate um, the one that I like here I what's the image I want to go back and I'll tell you why in a minute this summer celebration says that it's a 14 by 14 28 count but I'm still doing 14 count whenever I can and it is intermediate I wanted to see what level it was it's the intermediate level let's bring this down just a little bit so you can see that so for being busy this is also intermediate and I'm definitely able to do intermediate level items so that's kind of cute then we go on to fruit slices and this is really cute this looks like a band that you put around a glass or uh, something so it's called fruit slices very very quick pattern this is hello summer because this is an August issue the June issue was more spring like this is more summer like then there's always an article that has a little bit of a mystery and as a reader I love that so I, I can't wait to read that this is the Athenia sun, Athenian sunflowers that was in the inside cover so that is really cute that looks I'm not sure what kind of tapestry you're going to turn that into but it says 14 by 11 26 count ivory traditional ground cloth from Evlia folk embroidery and this is easy the level of this is easy I'm going to graduate to more uh, I am you know thinking of 16 18 26 count but one day at a time. Rome was not built in a day. The beach is calling and I must go. Okay. That's cute. 
This is a sailboat that we saw in the front, so it's called Sunday Afternoon Sail. And this is considered easy. And it it has some back stitching, just a little bit of back stitching, 413 and 517. And there are some half cross stitches, not three quarter stitches, but some half cross stitches, which would probably be, I'm not sure if that's where that is. This tropical sailing, oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay, I'm not going to say cute anymore. This is so nice. They show it as a finish. Let me see what... Oh, okay. So this, the image is, is the same twice over. And this is considered an intermediate level project. This is the one that we saw earlier. Heaven's a little closer when we are near the water. And this is intermediate as well. And they recommend 13 by 13 piece 25 count. I do have one... Uh, piece of fabric in 25 count. I can't quite remember what project I have it for, but I do have it for a project. Now these are Seize the Day note cards. Wow. So these are to stitch thoughtful get well messages or whimsical, whimsical wish to brighten someone's day. Okay, I've got to do these. That would be something cute to drop in the mail. I like those. And the instructions and the patterns are all right here. Now this is uh, All Star Songbird uh, Quilt Blocks, and if I'm not mistaken, this is a series that started in the uh, April, December, February issue of this magazine. I'm pretty sure, yes it did. February, April, June, August, so there'll be two more. So uh, for each month you have February, April, June, this is August right here, and then this will be October, and that will be December. That's called Goldfinch Quilt Block, which I'm not interested in that, but I'm just letting you know what that is. This is Remember. Uh, this is paying homage to the American Armed Forces, the Army, the Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard. Home Sweet USA. And this has Indiana, but I'm not, yeah, I, I knew it. As soon as I started to look at it, I knew that it was going to give you options to change to whatever state. So if I was going to stitch this, you know, I'm sure there's a way. But this is stitched for Indiana. I don't know where you could find one for your state. I have to read more about that. This is Early American Liberty. Confirm thy soul and self-control thy liberty in, in Laud. I, wait, I don't know what that says. It's a well-known quote by Catherine Lee Bates in from 1904. I can look that up. Sorry, I can't read that last word. In, in la. I don't know what that is. Okay, Christmas ornaments. Now, these Christmas ornaments have been coming up in different issues of this magazine, and I'm trying to see if it tells us what issues but I don't unless this is the beginning of this special the Christmas ornament special I'm not really sure since I don't do Christmas it doesn't really affect me but that's it says it's the 17th anniversary of the just cross stitch Christmas and ornament okay so that's what these patterns are here Oh, my hands are dry. It's hard to turn these pages. Okay. Now, over here, we have the Home Sweet Home Sampler. And this is intermediate. And I have been looking at this. And I'm, I keep uh, wanting to know the months. I have been looking at this. And I believe that... I'm just going to stick a sheet of paper here for just one moment. If you'll bear with me. Oh, this is not my fourth issue. This is my two, four, fifth issue. Um, February, December. Okay. I want to see if this... I think this started in the December issue. Um, 
or did it start in the February issue? Because I'm watching this. I want to do this. Actually, I will be doing it. I can guarantee you that. Just not sure where, when it started. Okay, I'm not sure when it started. But I need to just take this over to my printer and, and start printing these patterns. You know, making copies of these patterns. But this is showing up in every issue. And I've got all the issues right here. I just don't remember. I'm, you have to forgive me. I'm, I'm exhausted. But I want to do this. As a matter of fact, I just noticed that it says that there's a Facebook sale group. So I am going to join that group. And then if I find out anything more about it. Okay, here we go. Part 4. So if this is the August issue. So we have August... That would be part three, part two. Okay, so parts one, two, and three are in these three issues, and this is part four. I'm sorry. But that is something that has caught my eye. I cannot wait to do that one. Sorry about that, being unsure. Now this is Celebrate the Year with Ornaments, Year Round Ornaments. Uh, I'm going to get this cord out the way. Sorry about that. And more Christmas things. I know this is only the uh, August issue, but for those of you who celebrate holidays, you got to get going. This is Favorite Finds, product reviews, and more ornament stuff there, and then some advertisements, and then we're getting to the back of the magazine. And this page here, which I should have used this, this page here tells you where everything is in the magazine. So if I had pulled out this from a previous magazine, I would have been able to answer my own question. So I'm interested in the black work, this one here. I'm interested in the sailboat, and I'm interested in that, that sal. So I am going to go online today and find out about the sal, because I do plan on putting in a big order, so I might have to start ordering that stuff. And there you have it. Um, here it, it gives you an advertisement for Sullivan Floss with some ballpoint needles, which were on sale at uh, Fat Quarter last week for like 4 or $5 for two, so that was a great sale. And then we have Mill Hill at the back, which I haven't done anything in Mill Hill yet. So there you have it, the August issue of Just Costage. And I am so happy to be subscribing to these magazines. I'm ecstatic. Like I said, I want to do this. I want to do this one. I don't have anything I plan on doing on these. And then I want to do the one that we saw on page 54. And let's look at it one more time. I want to do this. So I, I, I'm going to find out. If I can gather the things in, a, in my next floss tube, I'll talk to you more about this. If I can gather everything up, um, don't worry about that. That's just about my reading. This is not a reading video, Robin. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, everybody.